this <laughs> this is Chris the Idaho painter and we're gonna show you got some tips here we're gonna show you how to oh my gosh let's we'll start this all over again this is Chris the Idaho painter gonna give you some quick tips on how to spray some interior doors and we've got the doors set up out here with some door hangers and I'm gonna show you how to how I actually go about spraying these doors got our 440 set up with a moderate pressure I think it's about 3,000 psi got a rack X 310 fine finish tip right here Graco tip and the doors are set up when you're spraying these doors a couple tips you're gonna to want to spray all the edges first you spray the edges first because if you spray the face of the door first and then the edge when you're shooting down here it's gonna get over spray and dry feathering down the face of the door so you always do your edges first and then when you're spraying the face of the door go over the top and all the way down the bottom past the door so you don't get any runs if you come just to the top of the door and come back down you're gonna get a start and stop and there's a high likelihood that that's actually gonna run so I'll spray the sides first and then the faces so Chris yeah. This is where we take my TV time out. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and you enjoy it. If you'd like to see more videos on this subject or some of my other painting tips and videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a button right down here. Just click that button. That will subscribe you to my channel. I've got over 350 videos out and I produce videos every single week and you don't want to miss one. Hit that subscribe button right down there and that will subscribe you to my channel. Now let's get back to the video. Chaos rudely interrupted by the customer. <laughs> so I'm back. We're back online here. So <laughs> here we go. I'm going to spray the edges first and then the faces of the doors. And we got three doors here. And I'm just going to work my way around the doors in a circular motion here. And don't forget to wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask because I want to be able to talk doing this video. But it's important to wear a mask. So, <laughs> so you guys don't complain when I'm not wearing a mask. <laughs> I got all the edges done, now I'm going to do the faces of the doors. A nice steady speed and a 50% overlap is what you want. bend down a little bit because we got these panels on these doors and these bottom lips right here if you don't get down reach down it won't get underneath that it'll leave a little stripe of the other color so what I'm actually talking about is you don't want your gun pointing down this direction it's got to be flat with the face of the door Another good tip is you actually don't want to release the trigger because it'll cause spits. So you can see while I was spraying, I never release the trigger while I'm spraying the face of those doors. Don't release or pull the trigger anywhere on the door itself. So you're going to be wanting to start and stop your uh, trigger pulls over the top of the door or on the bottom of the door down on the ground. It's a good idea to wear a mask and also if you don't want to get your clothes all painted and dusty and dirty we actually wear what we call monkey suits and they're really cheap inexpensive uh, just like really thin cloth suits that you can just rip off when you're done so make sure you wear a mask and we also wear gloves so we don't get paint all over our hands and stuff so it's easier to clean up at the end of the day it's nice to be able to just take off a suit take off your gloves and you're 